So in this tutorial, we're just going to look at um, several ways we can link uh, an audio soundtrack to visuals. So first I'm going to get uh, find a soundtrack, just to use as an example. And um, I'm just going to use this track here. I'm just going to reduce the audio slightly. Put it to minus 20 decibels because it comes in quite loud. Make it minus 17 maybe. Right, so we've got the soundtrack. I'm just going to reduce my composition slightly. It's way too long. Make it 200 frames. Okay. So one way is um, if you create a solid, we can use the generate I've got audio spectrum and audio waveform. They're pretty much the same thing. Um, and all you do is here, you can choose an audio layer. And if you play back, you can see it kind of reacting to the audio. And then we can like adjust the maximum height, these peaks here basically. We can make them longer. And we can also lessen the N frequency. So. gives us like more of an exaggerated effect because it's only looking for a looking between 20 and 300 hertz just gonna pull that back slightly I think it kicks in in the middle there we go so yeah pretty cool effect and uh, if you look at my two comp tutorial, you can basically link the start and end points into uh, 3D space, and you can have this like animating, and you could achieve some pretty cool effects. But um, there might be a time when, instead of audio spectrum, um, we might want to use something which doesn't have like an option to feed in an audio layer. So, I'm just trying to think which example to use. Maybe the radio waves. So in this case, we haven't got any option to choose an MP3. So uh, the easiest way to link parameters is to um, you want to right click on your soundtrack, and go to Keyframe Assistant, and then convert audio to keyframes. What that does is it creates like a new adjustment layer with um, kind of animated values based on the soundtrack. As you can see, it kind of starts off pretty small, and then when the music kicks in, the values uh, start to increase. And it's got the left channel and the right channel separate. And what you can do is you can uh, go to your uh, audio track and add audio, bass, and treble. So if you just want to focus on the bass, you could like increase the bass and reduce the treble, and then that will basically um, create like a bass heavy create bass heavy uh, values. So all we have to do is basically just, um, if I go to my radio waves, I can link maybe like say frequency to these values. So I alt stop watch click frequency. And I'm just gonna use a pick whip tool and I'm gonna link it to the both channel slider value. Uh, we should see some kind of reaction to the music As you can see, as the music kind of builds up, the rings become more and more uh, intense. So that's kind of working, it's pretty cool. We can like, and using this method, we can link anything like the velocity, or stopwatch click velocity. We can link that maybe just to the left channel. about the same. Let's see what else do we have. Um, spin, oh, we're really going to see that. Expansion. Expansion could work I guess. Um, yeah, try that. Or salt watch click expansion. Pick whip. Link that to the slider values. Now we seem to have some coupling which is uh, kind of visually more interesting I guess. So yeah, I mean it's 
pretty interesting. You can get some really cool stuff and you can do this with like any parameter, any plugin which has like a stopwatch basically. So it's really cool. You can like experiment for hours. Um, what else do we have? Scribble, ramp, beam. We could, uh, I'm not sure if you can link a percentage. We can try it. Alt stopwatch click length and link that to the, whoops, just open that up. Link length to the slider. Yeah, it works. And uh, if you want to increase the value, you can always just come to the end of the expression here and just add, add a multiply by five, just to exaggerate the values a bit more. And uh, just going to pick with the start point to the say the start point to the left channel, and then the end point, to the right channel maybe. And they're too close together, so I'm just going to get rid of that. Let's see what happens. So yeah, it's just an example and uh, I think it's a very uh, useful technique.